Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. So we've talked about ohms in relation to speakers. What about watts? So wattage is the amount of power that the amplifier can push. And your speaker wattage is a rating for how much power it can take. Um, obviously, if you've got a small little desktop speaker and you pushed a billion watts of power through it, it would explode. Oh, yeah. So you have two measurements on speakers in terms of wattage. One is the maximum watts, which is the most it will take without breaking. And then you have an RMS, which is the wattage at which it sounds the best. Typically, that's about 50% of the maximum, but it could be a third or it could be two thirds, depending on what the, what the speaker is. But it is not a measure of loudness. It's just a measure of the amount of power it can take. Okay, so just because you see that it has a high number doesn't mean that it's going to be very loud? Right. Um, In terms of wattage. Right. So I have an old set of speakers called the Large Advent Speakers. They've got no porting, the little hole that lets the air flow in and out. They sound amazing, but they're not very loud, but they take a lot of power because they have very large magnets. They've got a very large surface area, but there's no porting, so the, it, there's basically a vacuum in there. And so when it thumps, the air in the room has to expand and compress rather than just creating a sound wave. Hmm. And other times, you know, you can have a folded horn speaker like they use in PA systems you know, or sirens or those kind of things. And a 4-watt one of those can be 120 decibels. Okay, so it's just watts are power. Watts are power. 